Welcome to Kimberly and Knit for Brains. And you know what time it is? It is unboxing time and I'm excited. And if you've watched my unboxings before, you know that one of my all time favorite companies is Lion Brand. And they were running a huge sale last week and I had to dig in even though I have a lot of yarn. But let's face it, do we ever really have enough yarn ever? Because you start a project and next thing you know, you're like, ooh, I need this particular yarn for this project or I don't have enough. My husband doesn't understand. My husband, AKA the Brit, he doesn't get it. He sees my stash, right? And he says, you got plenty of yarn. Theoretically, he might be right, but I might need to make an afghan or I might need this. You know what I'm talking about. And suddenly you don't have enough yarn. Or maybe you're like, oh, I really just want to try that yarn, but I don't know really what I want to commit to. So Lion's Brand. Lion's Brand had a big sale. Got an email from them now. Unfortunately, that sale is over with, but they're always running sales. As a matter of fact, a lot of the things that I got here still are on sale. Not the great deal that I got, but subscribe to their newsletters. Keep an eye out. And other stuff is coming. All right. No, I have not opened this. So I'm really excited. It might. I'm not going to commit. It could have been hiding in the trunk of my car for the last week. Hiding from the brick. Maybe. I don't know. Actually, you know, he's so cool. He doesn't care. He really doesn't. I think, I think it's a cheap hobby that I enjoy. Right. Um, it's, uh, doesn't add any pounds to my waistline unless of course I'm snacking. Um, and it's, you know, it's not as expensive as some hobbies you could have. So I think he's okay with it. Plus we're not going to talk about his hobbies. Am I right or am I right? All right, so big sale. Some of these yarns are discontinued. Ooh, baby. <laughs> okay. So the first one I got is called FOMO. Okay, and I got enough to make something out of it, to give it a try. All right. So I got this one here. It's called FOMO. I got six skeins. This one here is still available. Now it is currently $3.99 on their website. I just checked it. It's $3.99 for uh, per skein and you get over 300 yards per skein. You get 328 yards per skein. This color is called charcoal and it is made up of, let me see if, oh, here we go. It is 53% viscous. 33, 37% acrylic and 10% nylon. So <clears throat> this, this is, I think that like, that's a bamboo kind of a thing. Um, but Ooh, oh, wow. Ooh, it's really soft. I mean, it's really soft. Like I would not mind having this up against my cheek at all, at all. It is a weight of four. Um, which is always a little bit confusing, but when you look at the weight of a yarn, you got to look at what they call the halo. So if you got a fuzzy yarn, like an Angora or a mohair or like this one, for instance, then you got to look at the whole halo. So the actual strand itself could be maybe like a, uh, I would say it's a two, but then when you add the halo, it becomes a four but it's really, really soft. So I'm hoping to make kind of a drapey tunic with this. Again, 328 yards per skein, 53% viscous, 37% acrylic, and 10% nylon. It's gonna have a slight little bit of give, definitely a washable garment, 
This is in uh, charcoal. I got six skeins of this. Normally, currently, it's $3.99 on their website, and I got it for $1.39 a skein. So this is enough to make uh, like a sweater, for sure. Now, I will tell you that this is my little um, loaded up basket, so I'll just stick it down in here. I am going on a cruise. Actually, I think I'll keep it inside here. So now that COVID is sort of ramping down, thank goodness, people are getting back to some sense of normalcy with precautions, of course. Um, we are going to be doing some traveling and I'm very excited. We are going our very first um, travel. We're going in mid-June and we're going on an Alaskan cruise. And I'm very, very excited about that. I've never been to Alaska. I've done many cruises and I absolutely adore cruising. I love cruising. It's like as soon as you get on that ship, you're on vacation. But I've always done the Caribbean kind of vacations, you know, so you basically you get off, you snorkel, you come in with the fish, this beautiful island, and you go to that beautiful island, you come on back on ship, you got a beautiful dinner, that kind of a thing. So I've never really done what I call a colder cruise. And so I was a little confused, like I actually don't have to bring a bathing suit. I am because apparently we have hot tubs and there's an indoor pool and stuff like that. But we have some, you know, evenings out and I thought, what a great idea. So I bought this hoping that I would be able to, maybe in time, make some kind of like a drapey tunic or a tank, I'm not sure. Don't know if I'll have enough time, but we'll see. Right after we come back from our cruise, literally right after, um, three days later, we fly to Italy. And we're gonna be in Italy for two and a half weeks on a guided tour through Rome and Venice and uh, Florence, not in that particular order. I'm going to Tuscany in the Chianti region, and it's an art and anatomy trip, and I'm really, really excited about that. It's actually um, being run, hosted rather, by one of my old um, professors in anatomy. I work in healthcare, and um, so this was my anatomy physiology class. So I'm really excited about that. But then from there, there's more, we are flying to the south of France. We're gonna spend about two weeks there. We have relatives and family in the south of France. And we're bringing my mother along who, um, a little bit of truth, my uh, father passed away, my dad passed away last year, late last year. And my mother was living far, far away, eh, a couple hours away, too far away. And so she just moved to town and she's like six miles from me. So I've been really busy you know, trying to, to do this, but also just trying to help her and get situated and so forth. So I'm very thankful, but we actually get to bring her along on the French portion of our trip. She's gonna fly um, over to France and meet us there, and we're gonna spend two weeks in Provence and, um, and the French Riviera, and we have relatives there. So I know it sounds very um, gauche, uh, ooh, extravagant, let's say, extravagant. Um, it, things just sort of lined up that way. We've had these trips planned and then it canceled and canceled and canceled. So anyways, um, but I'm hoping to get some really fun projects done that I can bring with me on one or two of those trips, even though in France and Italy, it's going to be hot, 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 because it's going to be smack dab in the middle of July, the whole month of July, basically. Anyways, um, and on a side note, if any of that sounds remotely interesting to you. My husband and I have a channel. The, the channel itself is called Beauty and the Brit, and we started it for our travel adventures. So it was his idea to start a YouTube channel. Mind you, he's still working. I'm semi-retired, working very part-time, really loving to do this, so I wanna do more of this, but I'm now the one who is doing the majority of the videos. And what else am I gonna talk about except what I love, which is so that's why it might seem a little disjointed, like why are we talking about this when there's travel? So that's the difference between the two. Stay subscribed to this channel and you'll be getting lots more videos on crochet and knitting and also we'll be throwing in some travel stuff as well. So hopefully maybe that will appeal to you. Fast forwarding back to where we started. So Lion's Brand, this is my stash. Um, because I love the pound of yarn. If you've never used this before, this 
I don't remember picking up this color, but maybe I did. I must have. Oh yeah, I did. Interesting. Okay. Uh, it's black. I'm going to call It's called sumac. I would not have called that sumac. I would have called that black. Anyways, Lion Brand, pound of, pound of love, full pound of yarn, weight of four, you get 1,020 yards in a skein. And let me tell you, man, this, if you've ever needed to make an afghan or baby blankets, this is a great economy, um, mass market, acrylic, good yarn. I find it doesn't pill, it doesn't split, it's good strong strands, it's just a really good everyday, all in all, across the board yarn. On sale, okay, so originally, which is still a pretty good deal, this runs $13.79 per skein, $13.79. <clears throat> It's currently on sale for $9.79, which is a good deal. I got it on their sale for $4.89. I can't do the math on it, but I can tell you right now, that is cheap, people. Cheap! $4.89 for 1,020 yards of yarn. Um, so I actually ended up getting two of these. I got this color in sumac, I'm gonna call it black, and I got it in this color peach, which is really pretty, I think. So this is the peach pound of love. It's called creamsicle, which I love creamsicles. So I like that color a lot better than calling it peach. So we'll call it creamsicle. This again was $4.89. So keep an eye out for those sales get their their newsletters, follow along, and then you'll hear about these really amazing sales. The thing is though, as soon as they went on sale, man, you've got to get in there because quantities are limited. When it's gone, it's gone. So you've got to get in there. I actually went in there on two separate days, hit my first mother load on the first day, and then I went back the very next day, and I got another order coming as well. So that's those two. Other one, and I was really interested in this one, um, because it's discontinued, well, it's not why I was interested in it. I'm kind of bummed because if I like it, I'm going to be kind of screwed because I'm only going to get what I got. This is called Touch of Silk, okay? This is called Red, but it looked to me, I'm, I'm, it looks the way I thought it was going to look. It kind of has a tweed look to it. Um, I wouldn't have called it Red. I might even call it more of like a brick or a claret color. Um... It has, so each skein has 219 yards. This is a weight of four, and it is 60% polyester, 20% cotton, and 20% silk. So if you're looking for just a nice, um, like a cotton top, a natural fiber, this is going to be really good because it's 40% it's natural fiber, silk, and cotton. 20% each, and then it's 60% polyester, so it's going to hold up well and uh, wash up well. It's, okay, it's not like super, super soft, like you would imagine with a silk, or maybe their Trubo or their Nubo, the um, uh, the bamboo colors, and the Kubo, which is the cotton, the bamboo. It's not super soft. It's really more, it kind of feels like a natural fiber. Like if you were to get a, um, uh, what would you call it, like an an uh, unfiltered, natural feel. What's the word I'm looking for? Untreated, untreated, um, natural yarn. That's kind of what this feels like. But I like it. Like it's soft against the skin. I could totally wear it around my neck. I could wear it on my arms. Yeah, I like this. Um, so now they say with uh, two to three balls, you can make a scarf. One ball you can make a hat, six to eight you can make a sweater. I got three skeins of this. Now this was originally $6.99 a skein and it was $2.99 on sale. On the website it says it's discontinued so I don't think you can get this through the Lions brand site but always 
check out their website and then head over to the clearance section because if anything is discontinued or they have the mills end of the mandala yarns, things like that, you can always find it and maybe they'll have some extra skeins. You know, do yourself a favor. Even if you find like one or two skeins, get them because like it says, you can do a hat, you can do maybe a scarf, just kind of see, you know, what it feels like. You can even probably do like a tank. Um, a tank actually would be really cute with that. So that's the touch of silk. And it doesn't seem to have a shedding factor, so it doesn't make my nose itch. Okay, next, what did I get? Ooh, ooh. I love Shawl in a Ball. If you haven't seen this or tried this, I love this yarn. Um, this is Shawl in a Ball. I've seen this at Michael's, all your craft stores. Um, I think I might have seen it at Walmart, Joann's. It is 61% cotton and 34% acrylic. So the cotton, and they, it's got this really pretty little sheen, kind of a glitter to it, which accounts for the, um, the acrylic. But it's a, just a fun yarn. It doesn't pill. It doesn't shed. It's soft. But it's got just a little bit of that bling going on to it. And it's also pretty because it's a variegated yarn. So it's got, I'm sorry, not variegated, self-striping. Apologize. So um, like this one here I got is called Lotus Blossom. Beautiful, beautiful yarn for shawls, um, tanks, camisoles, different things like that. A drapey camisole would be beautiful in this. And this is not discontinued. Some of the colors, I think they might be discontinuing. So that's why it went on sale. This was, it's normally $9.99 a skein, which is pretty good considering it's a pretty dense skein. You get uh, 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 481 yards per skein. So that's pretty good. Now this is, again, this is a four. Is it? Yes, it's a four. Again, because of that halo. Um, halos are kind of funky, but that's how they rate them. And if you understand what I mean by halo, if you look at closely, it's not just the strand, but it's the fibers. So again, with your mohairs, even though it looks really thin, it's going to be a much thicker weight. So this is actually a weight of four. And um, so I got one color of each. I got the Lotus Blossom, and then I got this gorgeous one, which is called Prism. And I think I might have some of this downstairs as well. So one skein will give you a shawl. Three to six will give you a sweater. So again, they're 481 yards, quite a bit. 61% cotton, 34% acrylic. Does that one say the same thing? Oh, they changed the label. 5% other fiber. Okay, so... I mean, hello, you probably figured this out. Like, how come she didn't see this? They just, they've changed the labels. See this? This, I think, is the new label. As a matter of fact, I'm sure that it is. And this is the older label um, because I have some of this stuff downstairs. So 61% cotton, 34% acrylic, and 5% other fiber. What's other fiber? What do you think that is? It's like when you look at a box of cookies and they say, oh, sugar and weight and other products, stuff that you can't pronounce. If you can't pronounce it, don't buy it. That's how I feel about it. But anyways, um, so this is Shawl in a Ball. Normally $9.99 per skein. Currently on their website on sale $4.99. And I got it during their massive sale for $3.49. So I was pretty excited and happy about that. And actually, I think those colors could go together for sure. Don't you? I think they're awfully pretty. I just love getting these boxes. It's like Christmas every day, every day. This pretty was really interesting. Now I'm getting into, um, I want to try other different kinds of fibers. I'm getting more into knitting. I did knitting for a long time. Self, self taught knitter, self taught crocheter. I felt I just did better. I was more comfortable with crochet. Um, knitting, I just, I feel like it, it's, it just was a little too precise, maybe a little highbrow for me, but I'm still going at it. And it takes a lot longer. And sometimes I just don't have the patience knitting because it's, it's, you use less yarn, right? Cause the stitches are smaller. Um, and it just takes longer and I'm like, Ugh, sometimes I just want to get done. Right. Anyways. So I'm going to start doing some weaving. And I saw this and I thought, ooh, I want to give this a try. 
So this is called spectacular, S-P-E-K-tacular. So play on the word spec, meaning it's got the cute little specks of glitter and stuff in it. Um, now, this was normally $15.99 per skein. So it's one of those artsy kind of yarns, so they tend to be a little bit more expensive. Um, it's currently on sale for $6.39. I got it for $5.59. So the most expensive of all the yarns that I got was this one, but I wanted to give it a shot. So in this skein, you get, so it's not very much, 63 yards. So this is definitely more of your artistic, um, fun kind of a fiber. All right, you obviously wouldn't be making a sweater with this. I'm going to be doing some loom work. Um, and I'm actually going to be doing like a rainbow. And I was hoping to use this for clouds. I thought this would be really, really pretty to kind of have as a cloud, maybe for like a wall hanging for a baby's room. Uh, so this is 52% polyester, 38% acrylic, and then 10% wool. Now, this is a weight of seven. So this is considered a jumbo yarn. And you can see, I mean, it's it's thick and it's thin and it just really has that cool woven and then it's like spun down in here. Um, hand wash, lay flat to dry, yada, yada. So 63 yards. So again, really more of your artsy kind of a yarn. So I got this, this color here is called silver gray. Kind of looks like it, no lie. So I got this guy here. Then I got... Some other colors that looked really pretty. So silver gray. Then I also got this guy, which is called deep teal. And in fact, I would say it's a deep teal. That's really pretty. Now I think I saw some patterns where people made like a really big, thick, cowl, you know, that you'd like cowl that you'd wear around your neck kind of a thing. Um, super fast knit up or crochet, whatever you want to do with that. This one you would take like, I have been known to bring stuff like this on a plane and make something. And then by the time I land, I got it and I'm wearing it. That's kind of cool. This would probably also work like, um, almost a shrug. That would be really cool. So I don't know if there's enough in here to make a shrug. You probably need a couple skeins of it, I would imagine. But, or, or do different colors if that's what you wanted to do. Then I also got this specifically for the clouds that I said I wanted to do. This is called Snow. Okay, so I got two skeins of this one. And then I got one skein of this pretty color and it is called Spice. So I really liked these colors. To, I love those colors together. Ooh la la. I love those two colors. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with these yet. But it doesn't matter because they're on sale. I mean, don't you just buy yarn and then go, I'll figure out what I'm going to do with it later. And some of my best projects come out of those days where I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I love it and I'm going to buy it. My husband, the Brit, just doesn't. He doesn't understand. He's like, yarn is yarn. I'm like, ah! Bite your tongue. Oh, hey, yay, surprise. I forgot. I didn't get three balls of the touch of six. I got a touch of soap. I got six. That means that I can do a sweater because I can do six to eight skeins. Yay. I was hoping that I was as smart as I apparently was. Oh, yay. Very excited. So I have six skeins of the Touch of Silk, not just the three. Last but not least, I love, 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 love this yarn. This is called Summer Nights. Beautiful. I don't, can you guys tell? I'm just kind of a little bit more into the, I like shimmery. I like bling. Um, I am a self-striping queen. I love anything self-striping. I have the hardest time Honestly, truth, truth, truth. I had the hardest time buying solid color yarn. I I hate it. I feel it's so boring. And I know it's not. You know, like I've got some beautiful projects that I've made with solid colors. 
But to buy it, I'm like, Yonsville. I don't know what's wrong with me. Anyways, I love the Summer Nights. So this Summer Nights is normally $4.99. Currently on their website for sale, it is $2.49. Still a great deal. I got it on sale for $1.74. $1.74, people, come on! It has 437 yards per skein. That's a lot, okay? The weight on this baby is a one. Now this is your uh, super fine, like lace kind of a thing. Wouldn't this be pretty as like a, like a long tunic? It's got some beautiful drape to it. It is 82% acrylic and 18% polyester, which is okay because it means it's going to be super easy to wash up. Um, let's see, I told you it's a weight of one, 437 yards, two balls of this will make a shawl, two balls. I got myself some six skeins. I got six skeins. This particular color is called Tropical Punch. Yes, I love, 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 love this stuff. Now again, it's a buck 74, people. What are we talking? That's like six, 10? 10 bucks for this. Very excited. All right. That is my yarn haul with Lion's Brand Yarn. Very excited. So again, Lion Brand Yarn. Go to lionbrand.com. Check out their clearance. Join their newsletter. And you too will be able to have these great stash buster sales. Thanks again so much for watching. This is Kimberly with Knit for Brains. And I will be back with more fun stuff. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to watch more of these videos. Or if you want to see some stuff on travel, then like and subscribe this channel and then see some of our travel playlists. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you soon.